Denisovans are a mysterious subspecies of humans, named after the Denisova cave in Siberia, where they were discovered in 2010. This discovery came as a surprise to scientists because the Denisovans represent a previously unknown branch in the human evolutionary tree. The Denisovans are thought to have existed from about 400,000 to 50,000 years ago. According to fossil records, these enigmatic humans predominantly lived in Asia. However, the presence of their genetic traces in modern humans suggests that they may have been spread over a much broader geographical area. The Denisova cave, where they were discovered, is located in the Altai Mountains of Siberia. This cave contains Denisovan fossils from various time periods, indicating that the area served as a habitat for this species over extended periods. There is also evidence that the Denisovans lived on the Tibetan Plateau, a gene found in Tibetans that facilitates adaptation to high altitudes has been discovered to have come from the Denisovans. This suggests that the Denisovans were adapted to live in cold and low oxygen environments and could survive under these harsh conditions. In the Denisova cave, scientists have found very limited fossils, including a few teeth and a finger bone. These fossils are so small and scarce that it is difficult to form a direct idea of the physical appearance of the Denisovans. However, with modern genetic techniques, incredible information can be extracted even from these tiny remains. The DNA obtained from these fossils shows that the Denisovans are relatives of Neanderthals and modern humans, but represent a distinct group. Scientists have determined that the Denisovans diverged from a common ancestor with Neanderthals relatively recently, and certain genetic differences evolved between the two groups. Archaeological findings reveal that the Denisovans used advanced stone tools and likely lived as hunter-gatherers. Animal bones and other organic materials found in the cave indicate that they led a life adapted to cold climates. Although many questions remain unanswered today, these discoveries about the Denisovans help us better understand the role they played in our ancient world and their connections to modern humans. Scientists estimate that the Denisovans and Neanderthals diverged from a common ancestor about 400,000 years ago, while modern humans separated from this ancestor approximately 600,000 years ago. This indicates that the Denisovans are our cousins, but not our direct ancestors. Traces of Denisovan DNA in modern humans were first identified in the indigenous populations of Australia and Oceania. These populations stand out as having the closest connection to Denisovan ancestors. In fact, some individuals in these regions have inherited a small percentage of their genetic makeup from the Denisovans. Between Neanderthals and Denisovans, there are specific DNA segments not shared with modern humans. This suggests that there were occasional hybridizations between the two groups over time. Scientists have found evidence that Denisovans and Neanderthals interbreed with each other and also with early modern humans. For example, a fossil found in Siberia in 2018, nicknamed Deni, was discovered to be a hybrid derived from a Denisovan mother and a Neanderthal father. This is concrete evidence of direct genetic interaction between Denisovans and Neanderthals. While Neanderthals were primarily concentrated in Europe and Western Asia, Denisovans left their mark more extensively in East Asia and Oceania. However, both groups lived over a wide time span and interacted in certain regions so their distributions could have varied over time. Ornaments and beads found in Denisova Cave, which may belong to the Denisovans, suggest that these ancient humans possibly had aesthetic sensibilities and some form of social structure. Given their long existence in Asia and Oceania, the Denisovans may have been incorporated into the mythologies and legends of ancient peoples in these regions. For example, some researchers have suggested that giants or creatures with unusual abilities mentioned in the legends of Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands could be linked to the Denisovans. 
In particular, the region around Denisova Cave in Siberia is rich in legends attributed to ancient human groups. One such legend involves the Almas or mountain people of Siberia and Central Asia. Typically depicted as wild, hairy and human-like creatures, they are sometimes considered to be surviving members of ancient human species. Such legends can lead to speculation about the possible survival of a known yet poorly understood human type like the Denisovans. Siberia is deeply connected with shamanism. Shamans can communicate with the spirit world and serve as mediators for their communities. These beliefs might reflect ancient humans' beliefs in supernatural events and beings and could provide insights into the cultural practices or belief systems of the Denisovans. Siberian folklore is rich with various legendary heroes, monsters and other mythological figures. For instance, some stories describe heroes with supernatural powers battling great monsters. These tales could symbolize struggles for survival in ancient times and allow us to imagine the challenges the Denisovans might have faced. One such story is the Great Ergenekon legend, which is popular among Turkic and Mongolic peoples. It tells of a hero with supernatural powers battling evil spirits or monsters and also serves as a tale of liberation and rebirth. The story begins long ago in the deep, inaccessible forests of Siberia, where a Turkic tribe is completely surrounded by enemies and on the verge of extinction. However, a blacksmith from the tribe manages to survive even when all hope is lost and lives a fugitive life. As the blacksmith and his family struggle to survive in the wilderness, they discover a hidden pass inside a great mountain one day. This pass leads them to a mysterious and fertile valley called Ergenekon. Enclosed by high mountains, Ergenekon Valley is a paradise filled with wildlife and flora. Here, the blacksmith and his family establish a new life and over time, their numbers grow. However, a massive monster living within the valley's borders begins to threaten their villages. The monster raids the villages at night, stealing animals and spreading fear. The blacksmith, in a final attempt to protect his village and family, turns once more to the power of fire and iron. After many days and nights of labor, he forges a sword. This sword will shape not only his destiny, but also that of future generations. Finally, the blacksmith completes his sword and sets out into the valley to confront the monster. After a long and arduous battle, the blacksmith manages to defeat the monster. With the monster's defeat, the villagers are now safe and their lives in the valley are secure. Years pass and the blacksmith's descendants realize that the valley's boundaries are now too narrow for them. They melt a mountain gate with iron, leave Ergenekon and spread across the vast lands of Siberia. This is the story of a new beginning and the birth of a nation. Although this legend does not have a direct connection to the Denisovans, it highlights the struggle for survival in Siberia's harsh conditions and humans' ability to adapt to their surroundings. The Denisovans might have faced similar challenges and such stories could offer indirect insights into their ways of life. Our journey of discovery about the Denisovans has taken us deep into the history of humanity, into the unknown. Today, science has begun to slowly unravel the secrets of this mysterious human species through the DNA of the Denisovans. Their genetic legacy has had unexpected effects on modern humans and has revealed their ancient connections with Neanderthals and us. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.